I thought I'd make a video about some clothes that I'm selling. Well, some older clothes that I've had for quite a while but never really wore. I mean, I used to wear this blazer when I went out, when I lived in Melbourne. But apart from that, I never really wore anything here. Although I've decided to keep this blazer because I thought it was too small for me, but I tried it on and it still fits. Doesn't look so bad, I don't think. The fit is... fits alright. For a blazer, at least. Definitely seen worse. I've definitely worn worse, like that uh, grey one that I was wearing the other day that I tried on for a video. This one isn't bad. It's actually pretty miserable outside today. It's cold and rainy and windy. And I don't really have any occasion to wear this blazer, but I'm a little warmer now that I'm wearing it. But it would be nice to have an actual occasion to, you know, wear something like this. But oh well. I didn't sleep too well last night. I've got like dark circles and just bleh, don't feel the best. I wanted to try on this red one because I'm pretty sure it doesn't fit me anymore. Like I'm pretty sure it's way too small for me. I've probably put on like 20 kilos since I wore that anyway. Alright, this should be fun. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance this is gonna fit. <sighs> Oof. I mean, I can wear it, but that is <laughs> not great. Colour's nice, but it's a bit tight, it's a bit skinny. Yeah, nah, this is way too small for me nowadays. Oh well. Sell it for a couple of bucks, maybe somebody else will appreciate it. I am a really big fan of the colour though. Yeah, what size is this? Did it even say? Uh, 38 inches. I think I'm like a 40, 41 now, I'm not too sure. But this is a skinny fit, so maybe if this was just like a regular cut, I could still wear it, but I guess not. As for these older shirts, I'm probably not going to try these ones on. I know the... I know these ones will still fit, but... This one is pretty small. Really like the pattern though. It's just something about stripes. Very classy. Very elegant. Checks, on the other hand, make me think of like, you know, computer science and being in IT. Or Ben Wyatt from Parks and Rec. Or like, Tom, but, oh well. This one's pretty nice. Probably because it's black and white and I'm a big fan of black and white, but, oh well. Let's have a counter, how many times I can say oh well in the video. That'll be fun. The fragrance that I'm wearing today is CK1 Red Edition for him. The Accords are fresh, sweet, warm, spicy, fruity, aldehydic, musky, vanilla, aromatic, fresh, spicy, and amber. And the notes uh, top notes of pear and aldehydes, middle notes of ginger, suede, black pepper, and dame. Base notes of tonka bean, vetiver, and musk. Let me see what I get from this. Maybe the sweetness of the pear, the spiciness of the ginger, the suede, and the tonka. I don't really get any of the other notes in this one. It's, it's not a complex fragrance, but it's not really a simple fragrance either. It's got a I would say it's almost a soft spicy rather than a warm spicy yes it is a warm fragrance but the spice is sort of soft you know it reminds me of um a little bit like uh, uh, Bee Men by Terry Mugler it's very similar to that at least to my nose although I don't think the comparison has been made in like any of the uh, this perfume 
this perfume reminds me of list on Fragrantica. Maybe it is and I'm just not looking hard enough. No, I, there's a bunch of other fragrances there that it doesn't remind me of. Yo Palm Wild. Not a chance, man. Hugo Boss Bottled Night. Not a chance. Davidoff Hot Water. Why? Because it has a red bottle. I don't like it when people do that. They just sort of like say something reminds them of something else just because the bottle and the packaging is similar. One thing that annoys me about CK1 fragrances is that like you've got to put the lid on. Uh, we, you've got to put the atomizer on yourself. Look at this tiny little bottle. And it doesn't quite fit in there properly. See, you'll see. So when you go to close it, it's like it doesn't close all the way. It's really annoying. I'll show you something I got that I thought was really cool. I only paid a dollar for it. Series one of Great British Ghosts. It's basically a uh, British series where they go to different haunted locations and sort of explain the, uh, the uh, unexplainable and paranormal phenomena that happen in those areas. I can't wait to watch it. I haven't watched any of it yet. I've been waiting sort of for like a day like this, you know, gloomy and overcast and whatnot. Looks really good. I can't wait to watch it. I've got a uh, really nice camel colored overcoat slash trench coat here that I've literally never worn before. It's still got its tags. I was gonna sell it, but I don't know. I was just too enamored by the whole style. I don't know if it'll suit me. It's probably ideal for like days like this. I don't know, if I was like, if I had shorter hair and, you know, that whole dressy style was more my thing, I think I would make it work. But at the moment, probably not. Color doesn't look too bad though, I've got to admit. Maybe if I like did the buttons up. I don't know. When I see overcoats and like longer coats like this, it just makes me think of flashes. Which obviously isn't a good sort of chain of thought, but I don't know. You see like a, a sort of, what is it? Like there's, um, I'll show you now that I think about it. Here's a uh, trench coat from Top Man. This is the sort of like coat you sort of associate with flashes, like that thin material, the sort of the more raincoat style of trench coat slash overcoat. Literally never worn this either for that exact reason. I'll put it on now. Why not? Take the buttons off there. Undo the buttons. Well, it definitely fits. Maybe it's good. I kind of like it actually. For weather like this, it's probably ideal. I'll just, I'll just show you what I'm sort of dealing with. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm dealing with outside at the moment. This is ideal for this sort of weather, but I just don't think I'd have a, an occasion to wear it. It's not really my style, not really my scene. Although, I reckon I could make some cool outfits with it. It's pretty light. Not very warm, but 
it's more designed to protect you from the elements than provide you warmth. Like, it's not lined with anything or anything like that. I bought that trench coat at a Savers when I lived down in, uh, in Epping in Melbourne. I think I only paid like $2 for it and I was like, I thought I'd look really nice in it, but I just never wore it. But it was like, it, it was brand new and it still had its tags on it and it said it was like $179 and I was like, two bucks? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy that. It's from Top Man. Top Man are a cool brand. But yeah, that's a long time ago now and uh, yeah. I think that's about all I've got to say today. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of the video and uh, if you like this sort of style of video, it's sort of like halfway between like reviewy sort of, you know, whole videos. I don't know, it's just something a little different and uh, I actually had a bit of fun making it. So my name is Lovely Marcel, the most luscious locks on YouTube and until my next video, I'll catch you guys around.